Alright then everyone, hello and welcome back to the Final Fantasy VI Blindfolded LLG. Now for a really painfully long and boring dungeon. Alright, so at this point I've reached the top, despite those uh, annoying green cultists getting in my way. And the problem is I can't even really say much, because if I do that, I'll end up losing count of where I am. So basically, I get to the foot of this staircase here. And then it's five up to get to the, a treasure room on any floor, and four up from the treasure room to get up to the next floor. That's pretty much all I need to know to complete this dungeon. So up, left, down, right, that's one. Up, left, down, right, that's two. Up, left, down, right, that's three. So if you notice, uh, Mog is actually dead right now, and I had to go to the Coliseum to get him killed. Terra doesn't need it to be in my party at all, actually, for this part. But by the time I realized that she'd be essentially pointless here, I already had Mog dead, and he died, and I had to kill him in the Coliseum, so I was like, you know what, I'm not going to bother, I'm just going to get Terra killed in the Coliseum too. <laughs> so that happened. Down. And that's probably the most interesting thing about this entire segment, because the navigation here is really, really boring, yet it's still something that can be fairly easy to mess up and make a mistake on, which is annoying because it's a sort of mistake that's not even like super interesting. It's like, oh, whoops, I miscounted the stairs or whatever, because I was too busy talking like I'm doing now. I should probably shut up. So if I go all the way left here, down, right, now I'm lined up with back where I normally am when I uh, come out of a treasure room. So up, left, down, right, one, up, left, down, right is two, up, left, down, right is three, and here's where I'll cross the screen transition. It's kind of useful to know where it is because I need to wait a little, bit, a, little, a little bit longer to make sure that I actually cross the screen transition and don't start moving beforehand, but in practice I'm probably putting a ton of safety on all my movements anyway and it probably doesn't make a difference, but might as well be careful. Up left, down right, one, up left, thankfully this isn't beyond chaos, so down right two. So I only have four floors to go up here, and at least I get somewhat of a, well, I'd say break, but one, uh, what? Why am I counting? And I'm counting the wrong direction to boot. Down right, three. Oh, the Holy Dragon and the Magic Master are both incredibly lame bosses. Up left. The only thing I have to do before Magic Master is remember to set myself up. Down right. Four. I think. Or is that five? I lose nothing by checking anyway. Left. I could check after every floor, I suppose, but I'm not gonna bother. Down right. Yeah, I got to another treasure room. This is treasure room number two. Just gotta keep track of all the pointless numbers, and yeah, that's this entire segment. And then I've gotta keep track of all the pointless numbers on the way down. Yay. So should be out of the treasure room now. All the way left. Down right. One. Up left, down right, two, up left, 
down right, three, up left, down right, screen transition here, up left, down right, one, up left, down right, two, up left, down right, three. It's kind of fun to practice this area with safe, with uh, fast forward. Up left, down right, four. Because you just kind of go like, whee, spiral upwards. Up left, down right. Okay, so here's where the holy dragon's going to come in and subsequently exit. See if I make it to the chest. I made it to the chest. What do you do? Let's just take a couple steps down. He'll run into me eventually. I don't want to move around trying to look for him because then I might lose track of where I am. Probably wouldn't be that hard to figure out, but whatever. So this is Go Go first off. Hopefully that hit Gao and not Go Go if I'm lucky, but it's not really important. And now I just select mute. It doesn't really accomplish much. It just uh, really shortens the battle a little bit because I don't have to go through his animations and I can eat Go Go alive. Go Go died there, but it's not a big deal. I can tell them apart really easily, only having uh, two characters alive, but I have to remember that the other characters still exist, so I gotta tab two down to get to Go Go. As you can tell, I've got Phoenix Downs in the top item slot right now. The other things are obviously aren't going to do a whole lot of good at this point. If someone gets hit, they're probably going to die. Now, for some challenges, I ban Ultima, but I don't really care here. It's not even that big a deal, really. It actually is less DPS than uh, Step Mine overall. So there are chan there are times when it will actually not be the best choice. In fact, most of the time it won't be the best choice. That 4,000 damage is only coming from Gao, by the way, too. Gogo's relatively powerful as well, and he gets 3,000. A lot of other people are just lower than that. Besides, this fight's kind of pointless, and I can't use Step Mine here. So let's have Gogo use Mimic, and now I'll just have Gao sit here for the moment. Thankfully, he's got the lowest amount of HP out of the dragon, so this might take a while. He's immune to poison. What a jerk, because like, half the dragons aren't immune to poison. This one would act, might actually be nice for, but... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and for the finisher. Yes, a boss that only uses magic spells, that can a where the only magic spell that's damaging is reflectable and the other one doesn't do any damage and he can also be muted what what terrible boss design <laughs> this is just the dumbest boss in the entire game like seriously down in brave new world he'll actually be a threat which will be a pain because this dungeon will be annoying so i don't want to lose it there Alright, so left, down right, that's one, up left, down right, that's two, up left, down right, that's three, up left, down right, that's four. If you're actually still watching at this point, I have to wonder uh, <laughs> why you haven't skipped to the other boss fight in this segment yet. Just saying, because this is kind of pointless. One... No, it's not one yet. Up left, down right, it's one. Up left, down right, is two. It's easy to lose focus if I don't actively count it up. 
count it out. I guess kind of, those both kind of work. Three. Up left. I mean, I guess if you're still watching, you can hear me complain about this dungeon more. Four. Up left. Down right. And now time to collect the uh, last thing here. One thing I won't complain about this in this dungeon is the quality of the items I get here. Gem box uh, probably won't be that useful, <laughs> but the safety bit is one of the few items in the game that can actually prevent death, and it's the only one that can both a not be can be equipped by characters who aren't realm or shadow, and b. Uh, there, it's also possible to not get terrible side effects like the Relic Ring. Because, I mean, with the Relic Ring, you die, you're dead for good. And that kind of sucks. Down right, it's one. Up left. Down right, it's two. Up left. Down right is three. And you know, now that I'm close to the top, I should probably... I'll, I'll get to the top first. Up left. Down right is four. Alright, so I should be on the top floor right now. If not, something went terribly wrong. But... Alright, so basically what I want to do here is... Skills, equip. Equip, gow. And I'm already lost. Okay, I must have had my cursor on something other than equip to start with. I mean, items to start with. Alright, that's save. Items, skills, equip. Or maybe my cursor for my character is not on the top character. Well, I can fix that. Skills, item. Wow, my cursor on the items was pretty far to back, too. Alright, so just by tabbing into the item menu, I can figure that out. Skills, equip, equip, gow, empty. Yep, I'm just gonna let him die. I don't need gow. Gow's a scrub. Gogo's a scrub, too. I don't need scrubs like them. I'm totally just gonna be doing this mog solo. Okay, so now that I've dealt with that... Alright, into the door. Grab that gem box that's totally not worth the effort. So yeah, now I just hold down for a while until... Magic Master decides, oh, hey, I'm gonna finally get around to fighting you. <laughs> in other words, it's gonna take ages like everything else in this dungeon. Isn't this just... I think you can tell this is just my favorite part of this entire game. so enthusiastic about it. At least there's no randomness here, like Ebbeth's Rock will have. So it's got that going for it. Yes, yeah, takes forever. But at least the randomness may or may not be interesting if it's not too luck reliant. it up already. Just get to the fight. It's not even a very good fight. Just... Stop, like, waltzing around. Oh, wow. What happened? I'm not even outside the room, am I? Um... Down right a bunch. 
Oh. Yeah, I forgot I have to go right and down after I exit the room. So now this uh, just took forever for no reason. That's just great. Now I've got to wait another forever because I'm just wasting my time the first time. <laughs> Here we go, the most exciting boss fight in the entire game. Just like the rest of this dungeon. Well, I've only got one character left, but he's the only character I really cared about. One, two, three, four. Confining all the Matcha Master dealing with Tamog, who's just gotta be there for the Moogle Charm anyway, allows me to stack Go-Go and Gao and make the up. Holy Dragon fight a little bit faster, so I can set everything up nicely for him. And in case you were excited to do more waiting, I think you'll be glad to hear that that's exactly what we're about to be doing for a while. Like, I'm not even holding the controller at this point because, like, another terribly designed boss because you can just cast Rebrace on yourself, have Reflectoring on, and just sit here until you win. At least he does decent damage to himself. His magic power is, in fact, actually fairly high, which I guess lends him the name of Magic Master in the first place, but he won't wall change unless I do something to uh, attack him or something like that. So he's just going to be sitting here murdering himself for the next uh, probably five minutes or so until he runs himself out of that... I don't remember if it's 50,000 or 55,000, but... It's not really a huge difference either way. And then his Ultima will obviously fail, and my entirely unequipped, except for Bellic's team at this point, can descend the tower. <laughs> Magic Master is probably going to be a pain in the button break new world though when I can't tell his element, because that game forces you to deal the, with the element game in this fight, and I can't use the tricks I'm using here, so... <laughs> at least I don't have to deal with Ultima at the end, not that that's a big deal here, it just meant I had to spend a few minutes grinding up Cactuars, but that also speeds up my Holy Dragon kill, because otherwise I wouldn't know Ultima or Ice 3. If you didn't know, Ice 3 has a slightly higher power level than the other two spells, and a slightly lower MP cost than uh, Bolt 3. So it's actually the most effective against a neutral target in this game. Brave New World actually does more substantial differences, not like the difference of two magic points over Fire 3 here. I think the difference is, like, not. Not 2 MP, I mean 2 uh, magic power. See, look at that enormous difference over the last uh, Bolt 3 or Fire 3 that he just casted. I guess in theory I could just fast forward through this fight like I did for the Air Force. Oh, but I decided I'd prefer to just do it this way. Oh man, he's dead. What a surprise. I ran everyone out of MP, HP almost, and uh, equipment. Now that I think about it, I'm surprised I didn't get hung up by that, uh, got the Pearl Lance message after the Holy Dragon. Must have gotten lucky, I suppose, with what I did there. Because I never really thought of it. Here. Must have just decided to mini trick after the battle for no re good reason at all, and that probably saved my butt. Otherwise I would have been very confused. 
Alright, so I just go continue going down and then I hit the floor here. So if I go right and down, I'll hit the staircase and subsequently step on the staircase. Left. Up. Right. Down. Well, if you wanted to hear me chant a different set of four uh, directions, you're in luck. That's uh, four. Right. Down. Three. Left. Up, right, down, two, left, up, right, this is one, so that means I can go in the door and make sure of where I am. I'm unlikely to get completely, like, permanently stuck in here at this point, considering I made it down to the first door, and if I continue my pattern of, uh, left, up, right, down, five. If I continue that pattern, I'll do nothing worse than getting stuck in a doorway for a in front of a doorway for a while when I try to go downwards. Up, right, down, four. So if I miscount here, it's not that big of a deal, but if I miscount it on the way up, it actually is a big deal, because I could miss some of the treasure that way. Up, right. And as I said before, uh, some of it's actually useful, so I can't do that. The force armor might be nifty as well. Not, not that I mention it. Down. That's three. Left. Up, right. Down. Two. Left. Up, right. Down. So this should be where the screen transition is. Yeah. Left. Upright. I so wish you could warp out of this place. Four. Left. Upright. Three. Left. If you haven't stopped the segment already, just do it. There's nothing left here. Upright. Two, left, up, right, one. That's the Holy Dragon Room. Two more to go. Left, up, right, down, left. Five, four, left, up, right, three, left, up, right, two, left, up, right, one, screen transition, yay, up, flat, right, Four left, up right, three left, up right, two left, up right, one. Left, down, left, up, right, five, left, up, right, 
four, left, up right, three, left, up right, two, left, up right, one, left, screen transition here, last one before I actually make it to the bottom, up right, four, left, up right, three, left, up right, two, left, up right, last treasure room, unless I've been going around in circles somehow, but that's hopefully not the case. Left, down, that's almost certainly not the case too, unless I really mess something up. Five, left, up right, four, left, up right, three, left, up right, two, left, up right, one. I guess the good thing about this dungeon, at least, is that it's a one-shot deal. I do it once, it's gone. No multiple seg mini-segments in here or anything like that. One, two. Now I should get out after the I probably run in some cultists for half an hour. so maybe I tripped up somewhere. Because even the cultists shouldn't take this long. Right. Shoot. do that. Up. Right. Oh, right. I'm an idiot. I forgot the, uh, I forgot the treasure room with the air anchor in it, so I ran around in circles there for a while. Four. hopefully be at the bottom. But I can just get out of here. One, two. Nice. Okay. That took forever. But it's done, and I, wow, like half an hour, like, most boring segment ever. See you next time. <laughs>